Larry Sashwell here. Today, my goal is to get a net over the pond so all the leaves and debris from up above doesn't gather in it. I think I've got everything together. I have this drip line from rain tree. It's a half inch. I think it'll be strong enough. I've got four T's that go into this, some bird netting, a cutter, and a measuring device, which I call tape measure. So the first thing I need to do is determine what size I need to go around that pool. And instead of measuring it, I'm just gonna use the hose itself. I've had it laying in the sun here, so hopefully it's a little flexible and not that tight ring it was when I bought it. Right now it's a 50 foot length and I, I know I don't need that much. I think that'll work. I'll go ahead and cut it off while I have it. So now that I have that, I'm going to measure it. Well, that came out to 28 feet. I was hoping 50 feet was going to be enough, but when I looked at that leftover, I'm not sure it will be. We'll see. All right. I think these just grab onto here. Yep. Didn't come, seem to come one come off. And that one doesn't seem to want to go on. There it goes. Ooh. It's not exactly what I envisioned. And I thought about making this out of PVC and I looked at the electrical PVC conduit and I'm sure I could bend that into a circle. But it was so much more expensive. This cost as much as all of that as one piece of that PVC. And the stone is way too high. Uh, let's give it a go here. Uh, I've got my dollar store white ties here. And I'm going to try to cross. A 
see if it fits. Holy smokes, what a mess. guy sells these and I thought it looked expensive but right now I think it may be cheap well here's the deal it's in here I think the net's going to weight it down quite a bit in the middle I may have to throw a rope over the top to hold it down. So here is my question as I sit and think. Do I want to move forward with this or scrap it and A, buy the one from the pond guy or B, go to the PVC route or C, keep moving forward. I'm going to ponder that for a while. <laughs> i got to rethink this. This may be a one-time use. I've got one half secured, but I'm afraid to secure the other half because it's collapsing. So what I'm going to try to do is maneuver it in there uh, and throw this rope over the top of one of the rungs on the roof. <laughs> yeah, you may never see this video. Can you believe I haven't given up on this yet? <laughs> I don't know where it's what now. All right. So far, I've not killed myself for any fish. Holy cow. Larry, you need to rethink this whole thing. Larry, come on. That's all kind of on the gate. Oh, uh, Larry, I think you're a fool if you think you can make that over one of these. That's going to stop you from trying, though, is it? Yeah, it is. I like that part. It's actually really good over there. But this right here is a mess. I don't know if I can get to it. All right, this is the part that's having trouble. This is the 
part where I fall in the water. It actually isn't bad right there. It, it's just such a tangle up mess on the other side. So that's the side you couldn't see when I was putting it in. This side looks great. Um, I'm going to let it relax here for a day. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I probably should, but I'm not going to give up yet. I wish the rope was up over the middle, but it's not. But I may try to fix that. Uh, to be continued. I'm a little bit competitive, and this is going to work. <laughs> but what I've done, I took it outside. It's been outside for a week. And this is the last nice day I'm going to have. And then it's going to get nasty. A frost this weekend. The leaves are falling. i got to get it back in here. So what I've done, I've suspended the middle, I got a little more, the rope a little bit higher, and I've got, it's so hard to move, I've got to get rid of all this excess netting. It gets caught on every little piece of uh, bark here on my gazebo, but it was laying flat before I brought it in here, and the way I did that was that I poured, uh, I made a pot of uh, hot water in my coffee pot, and I came out here and poured it on it, and that made it relax and go flat. But as you can see, maybe you can see right now, it is anything but flat. But I've got it suspended here so I can kind of manipulate it around as I go to try to get this netting on here. And I... I'll have to add it up, and I'll put it, put it on the screen. But I, I don't have that much invested in it right now. And when I looked up the nets on the pond guy, to cover this pond was going to be well, well, in excess of a hundred dollars. And that's beyond my budget. So I'm one of those guys that has more time than money. So that's why I'm doing this. If I had more money than time, I'd hire a koi pole guy. But I gotta tell you, ah, I just dropped all this. This is one of the most frustrating things I've ever attempted to make. Ah, incredible. So I have one side here left to do, and I'm not sure. I'm going to try to lower it here, make sure I've got enough net everywhere. I think it might work. Where do I need zips? I need zip ties. It's caught on everything. If I had to do this over again, I would use the half inch electrical gray PVC. I'm sure that would work and work better. And it wouldn't be that much more probably add twenty dollars to a bill. But twenty dollars worth of frustration might well be worth it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut off some of this excess netting. And hope I don't regret it. Ah, these scissors don't work. The scissors don't work. 
Let's try the dollar store scissors. Much better. Alright, I gotta raise it back up. Have I ever mentioned I was frustrated with this build? <laughs> I'm trying to keep about six to eight inches of knitting over the edge. The last time I came out here, the trick on this before I had taken it off, I saw a bullfrog trying to get back in. So I think it's cold enough today that the bullfrogs are in and that they'll stay in. Now, this is a mess here. I don't know what I've got going on here. I think it's overlapped. I think I've about got it. Wow, we may be close to finishing here. rock on it right there. Well, it's a lot easier to move now that it doesn't have the extra stuff on it. It's not the best looking thing I've ever done, but it is functional. This is what it looks like from the bench I always sit on, and compared to a week ago, I am really pleased with this thing. So I'm going to see if it'll catch some leaves. There's a couple of places for critters to get in and out of. A little bit of a gap, and I think that's fine. But they'll have a hard time finding it. So it's on. The leaves are falling left and right. And hopefully the pond will stay clear. Thanks for watching.